Hi, I'm Jason. Before your next ride, you should all check this one part. So a couple weekends ago, we were out for a ride and my buddy DTB noticed that my skid plate was hanging down, flopping around loose. The same thing had happened to his sled previously and I'm surprised it happened to mine so soon because this sled's brand new. So here's my sled, it's a 2022 Chaos Matrix Slash 850 and you can see the skid plate is hanging down, it's loose. So on our last ride, I rode it home like this. Luckily at the front, it still had the bolt connected, but the self-tapping screws at the back came out. So I destroyed a 2016 Polaris Axis 800 a few years back and sold the whole sled for parts. And I have two bins of parts left. Let's see if I have some skid plate screws. Would you look at that? Some skid plate screws. So there's self-tapping screws. Not the greatest design. I would prefer if we could use rivets on it. Let's see if I can use these to fix it. Let's see what we can do. Not exactly sure how they popped out. So I don't want to put the holes any further back because I don't want to risk hitting the cooler. The tunnel cooler is just to the left of those two holes where you see the light coming through. So I'm going to drill new holes just in front to the right of those two holes there. And I'm going to put the self-tapping screw right through that metal. So you see here's the original hole and I drilled a hole in front. So this was the original hole going through the bottom. I'm gonna put the new self-tapping screw here. I don't wanna go too far back because this is the tunnel cooler here. I actually noticed what I thought might have been some coolant here. So I'm curious if I have a little leak somewhere. I'll have to check the bottle in a sec. So here's my dual drill, my little Torx bit. Here's the self-tapping screw, you can see it's Torx. Just put one screw there in the old holes to hold it in place temporarily. And I'm gonna screw this one in here. Good. One down here. Not too tight. And take this one back out. And into this hole. Fixed. Used a little seat cushion for my old Mazda pickup just to protect the bars there. Just taking a look at my coolant level, looks full. Well, that was a super easy fix. Check those screws on your skid plate before you ride next time. See if they popped out or if they're coming loose. Otherwise, you could have some issues on the trail. Hey, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe. That'll help this video spread to other people that could find this content useful. As you can see, we're getting a bunch of fresh snow. We're going to head out for a ride on Sunday. We're going to brave the cold. I'll be posting some videos of that ride soon. Time to load this sled up. If you want to see how I do it, I have a couple little tricks on making it easier. That video is up here. I'm Jason. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.